crafty friends. Happy Sunday. It's coffee and a card time. Yay. It's my favorite day of the week. Uh, my name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty in Paper Crafts and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I go live every Sunday for coffee and a card where I show you three projects using Stampin' Up! product. I get so excited you guys. It's ridiculous. I love all of these fun little um, projects and it's just the best day. I love it. I love Sundays. I love going live with you guys. Happy Father's Day. Today's Father's Day to all those dads out there. Uh, it's your special day. I hope you guys all get spoiled and shown appreciation for everything that you do. I am doing Playful Pets Bingo, which is scheduled to be July 11th, which is a Saturday at 1030 Pacific time. But Deadline to register for that is um, Wednesday. And uh, I really want you guys to have fun with Bingo. The Playful Pets um, bundle is super, super sweet. Um, I'll show you two of the projects for Bingo so you guys can kind of get a feel of how fun it's going to be. Um, so here is one of the cards, meowch. And then I have this cute little box. This is the new three by three acetate card boxes and they got bones in them. How cute is that? So bingo comes with $20 in product. It comes with six rounds of bingo for awesome Stampin' Up! prizes. And it comes with six make and takes. Um, it's a huge deal. It's awesome. It's only $32 plus shipping if you aren't doing free porch pickup. And you, it's just awesome. It's so much fun. I love bingo and I love bunko. They're just the greatest. All right, the last thing I gotta tell you guys you're gonna hear it from me all month long. We only have like a week left. The starter kit special. It is so awesome. It is an amazing deal. You guys, $125 in product of your choice for 99 bucks plus free shipping, plus an extra bundle of your choice out of the Stampin' Up! catalog. There's Pick the most expensive bundle in the catalog. It's yours for free plus a free paper pumpkin, and then you get an extra 20 to 25% discount on all your orders. What is not to love about that? And everybody always asks me, do you have to sell anything? I don't wanna sell anything. I don't wanna do any of this. You don't, absolutely not. Ask any of my teammates. They'll tell you they're their best customers. They buy it for the discount. It's a great deal and you will not regret it because then I get to spoil, spoil you because you're on my team. And there's no catches, there's no gimmicks, there's no requirements, it's just the best deal. It just makes sense. It's just, it's like a Costco membership. It just makes sense. <laughs> okay, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get to the crafting, which is my favorite part. Today's projects feature the Nothing's Better Than bundle. Oh my gosh, you guys, this bundle is awesome. So we have this amazing stamp set that has Four of my favorite things, coffee, cookies, cocktails, and chocolate. Yes, please. I love it. And there's so many fun sentiments in this. Like, for example, um, where's the one? Uh, let's see. A day without coffee is like, um, just kidding. I have no idea. <laughs> like, I love that. Um, and then there's things like, um, you're just like chocolate. You make everything better. Or today's plan, consume, and then you can put anything. So I absolutely loved playing with all of these sentiments. And then the dies are so cool. The dies are really, really fun. This die cuts out the whole sentiment. It says, love you more than. And then chocolate, cookies, um, coffee, and cocktails. And then it has all these fun little dies to cut out the different little um, shapes. So. So much fun to play with this, you guys. I think, truthfully, with my projects, I barely just scratched the surface. I think that this could be an entire class of so many fun ideas. Let me show you what I came up with for today's projects. I have seen these um, kind of customizable travel mugs where you can put photos or different things inside the mugs. These are found at the Dollar Tree. So yes, a dollar gets you this um, travel size cute little mug. Um, you can take it off. I filled mine with um, coffee candies. You can also fill them with, um, I have just for kind of ideas. I have, um, little instant coffees. It can also fit a gift card in there. Um, the ideas are endless and little things that you can put in there. And so then I created this sleeve out of, um, whisper white cardstock and stamps. And then a cute little tag that says, love you more than coffee. 
So there's very few people I love more than coffee in this world. So I'd be very selective of who I give this to, but I wanna show you how fun and easy this is to make. And you can make and change up your tat or your um, inside covers for your coffee cups anytime you want. Um, and again, like I said, these were for at the Dollar Tree. There is a link on the project sheet where you can find these online. You'll have to order them in bulk online or you can go into your Dollar Tree and see if you find one. Okay, yes, and Janie made me one of these. Um, it had all these photos of me in it, in it, or photos of my family and stuff, which was really, really cool. That was a gift she made me one year, so that was really fun. Again, like I said, they are from the Dollar Tree. Now, if you, if you order from my online store this week, I will send you one for free. It will come with your projects. Um, but you can order them in bulk on the on, online store at dollartree.com, um, or you can go in the store and see if they have any. So I'm just taking out the insert piece and they have little, let's see. Let's see if I can get this out. Hi, Amber. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said, Janie, it's your favorite color. Um, it has these little inserts and it's very important. There's two of them, but it's very important that you keep at least one to use as a template. Come on. Okay, so just keep one of them. See, it's clear. And then you need a piece of whisper white that you're going to stamp and color. So what I did was I just took my piece of whisper white. Ooh, now's the time to use my purple. So is this sticky on both sides? Purple tape? Oh no, it's like washi tape. Never mind. I was thinking it was re, re, re sticky stuff. Never mind. Okay, so you take your template, you take your piece of whisper white. Now I am using a different color, so my colors are gonna be different from this cup. This is one I paired up with uh, Mango Melody. This one I'm gonna pair up with Pacific Point. So they come in different colors. You might get a different color from me. I think there's one that's red, then there's this orange, and there's blue. I don't think there's any other colors. So I'm just going to trace the template because we're gonna use our own design. The hot air balloon is cute and all, but we want our own. All right, so we've got our template there. You can throw that away or keep it, whatever you'd like. Now, I'm not going to cut this out until I've finished stamping everything, but let's see, did I not get my stamps out? Do I have to get them out? Yep, okay. So, I have the little coffee cup. I have the little asterisk or little star, if you will. And let's see, I need the inside of the cup and I need the word coffee. Oh, and I need the smoky, six, smoky stack from the steam. So coffee, inside cup, and the little steam. Okay, so. This is just fun. You get to stamp whatever you want, wherever you want, however you want. Um, I'm going to, like I said, be using um, Pacific Point as my, my main color. I'm looking for, oh, there it is. I'm gonna use Early Espresso for the outside um, of my cup. And I'm just gonna stamp that wherever on my page. Make sure you stamp off outside of the border because not everything is going to be centered and oh, dipped my finger in the ink and dipped it on my page. Okay, so you've got your coffee cups <clears throat> in early espresso. Now I did also do my little asterisks in early espresso, so I'm going to do that now. I got to hide this little thumbprint thing I did. <laughs> So you just stamp the asterisks around. Okay, and then, since I'm using, on this cup I did Mango Melody on the inside. Since I'm using a blue cup, I'm gonna do Pacific Point on the inside. So my coffee cup's going to be Pacific Point this time. Let's see how that looks. Super dark. Don't mess up your stamping. It's very dark. I could stamp off once, but it will dry 
a little bit lighter. Hopefully. I like this blue, it's very pretty. You guys will have to tell me which color you like better. We'll check it out and see what we think. So definitely has a different color theme based on the color of the cup. And almost done. Last one. Okay, so there's our coffee cups. <clears throat> now we have to do our steam, which I did the steam in gray granite. Some, some sort of light gray will work. Smoky slate would work. Just something to bring out the little. You can make your card or your cup any design you want. That's the cool part. Oh, he has steam coming out the side of his cup. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's. I don't think this is really going to be seen, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so we've got our steam. Now we're gonna stamp the word coffee. So I did this one in um, Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna use a slightly different green on this one. This one's gonna be Old Olive. So this one's gonna be a little bit more darker, maybe more masculine. Maybe this is, um, oof, I got a lot of ink around my lock here. So this is gonna be our more masculine cup. So it's not gonna be as bright colors. It's gonna be more neutral color, not neutral, but more darker colors. I like the old olive with the Pacific point. I think it's a nice. So just stamping the words. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Let's go ahead. Now we've got our, now we've got it all stamped out. We gotta cut it out. So let me put those back in there. We're gonna get big scissors. Okay, you could even have done coffee in a brown color. Okay, so now we're just gonna curl this up and stick it in our cup. Oh, look at that. So cool, right? You just want your ends to line up nicely. Just push it down to the bottom like so. You put your cup back together. Cute, cute, cute. Now it's time to make our label. All right. So for our label, I have a Stitch So Sweetly die. These are one of the Stitch So Sweetly dies. I also have a piece of Old Olive and a piece of Pacific Point because we are gonna cut out these words and cut out a coffee cup. So what I'm gonna do though, before I even start cutting, is I'm gonna show you guys how adhesive sheets work. So let me find, now, total 100% disclaimer. Stampin' Up! has come out with adhesive sheets. I don't know if they're anything similar to what these they used to have. These are the old adhesive sheets. I have a bunch of them, so I might as well use them, right? So I'm gonna, I just cut them down to a size that I can work with. I'm just going to peel back the side that says peel here. And I'm just going to stick this down to my cardstock. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's crooked. It doesn't matter if it's too big. I'm just gonna trim off the extra. We're gonna run this through the big shot, just like this. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on the blue. And, okay, so I've got adhesive sheets on the back of both of these. Now we're gonna cut out the words. So love you better, love you more than I'm gonna do in Pacific Point. And then I'm gonna put coffee in that old olive. So I'm matching the colors that I used in my set, okay? Oh, before I do that, let's go ahead and take a scrap of paper and stamp our coffee cup. So let's do that. Coffee cup is in early espresso because we have to cut it out with our dies. So we might as well. Just stamp it on a scrap of paper so we can cut it. So, early espresso. And the 
specific point. Oh, that was pretty bad. I'm going to try again. You know, always can try again. I just don't like how much white is showing on that one. So I'm going to try again, see if I can get a better one. Maybe if I stamp off once, let's see what that looks like. Ooh, I like that. I like that color blue. So stamping off once, I maybe my ink pad is just so juicy. It does dry lighter though. You can see it's, it's lightened up a lot. But I'm gonna leave it with this stamped off version here. Let's go ahead and get our dies. So we need the cup die. There we go. Okay, time for Big Shot. Let's do it. Okay. So remember to place your die where the adhesive sheet is. That's a very important piece of information right there. Okay, let's go ahead and do our words first. Oh, that piece is too big. Let me turn it down. Okay. So, love you more than coffee. You might want to run it through just a couple times just to make sure that it cut through the adhesive sheet all the way. Okay, and then we'll take care of that here in a second. Let's go ahead and cut our coffee cup. Okay, so we've got our coffee cup, we've got our sentiments. I'm gonna pull, this, pull these away. Oh, this one came out, that's okay. All right, let me put these away. Now let's address our label. So, first thing we wanna do, get our piercing tool and pull apart these letters. Now what I did with the first one, I'll show you here in a second, if I can get this to cooperate. It didn't cut the backing off my adhesive sheet all the way, so I don't think my idea is gonna work this time around because I have the adhesive sheet. But what I did the first time, I'll show you here in a second, what I did the first time was I laid my cut my negative space over the label and I put glue on the back of my words and put them back in the space where it was cut so it was perfectly spaced. Um, but I'm not going to do that this time because the adhesive sheets were being a little bit um, tricky. So what I did is I just pulled the backing off the adhesive sheet and I'm just going to adhere down. Oh shoot, these ones, the middle did not come out. Just push out those little center pieces and they're going to be sticky, so beware. Okay, so love you so much easier than having to deal with that liquid glue. More. I love the font too. Does anyone else love the font? Yeah, see, Lori said she loves the font. Then. Sticky. Oh, I love it when all the little pieces fall out. Thank you, adhesive sheets, so much easier. Okay, so I love you more than, and this time I made a little bit more room for coffee, which was good. Love you more than coffee. Now the E is going, This the end pieces are going to be sticky, but what you can do is put your embossing buddy there and get the powder on it so it's not as sticky anymore. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is put our little coffee cup up on a dimensional. 
Oops. Better put another one. Put it on the wrong side. Love you more than coffee. She like it at an angle. Cute. Okay, so let me throw away all these little pieces and we can finish putting our little mug together. It's adorable. Okay, I use linen thread and I used the 1 8 inch hole punch to finish our label. So just hole punch the side there. Take your linen thread. Wrap it around the top of your mug here. Oop, linen thread fell. Okay. String it through the label. Yes, good idea, Lori. These are great gifts for teachers, teacher appreciation, great gifts for Christmas, craft fairs, so fun. All right, so love you more than coffee. All right, which, which one do you like best, guys? Which color combination? Do you like the melon mamba or mango melody and granny apple green? Or do you like the Pacific Point and the old olive? You guys, I am so thankful that you joined me today for these projects. I hope you're in love with this set. Um, Maybe it was you looked over it and you passed it by the first time, but hopefully you're going to take a second glance at it because it's so cool. The dies are so fun and you can create a lot of really neat things for it with it. Don't forget, you can get all the three projects mailed to you for free with a $35 order on my online store this week. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing and we will see you all next week for more fun. Okay, bye everybody.